it's like a mold that they can't break out of. And I'm happy to say that uh, Senator Matthews, Kevin Matthews, has now spoken publicly on this matter, and I think he's going to help us. So I was a little bit alarmed that he was silent for a while, but I'm glad to hear now that he's been more vocal. There's a a video that I think he put on YouTube. uh, or No, it was a news station that had interviewed him, and I, I was happy to see that. Very happy to see that. So I'm hoping more people will gather up more strength and not worry where their campaign donations are coming from and do the right thing because that's what we elected them to do. Yeah. But everybody has a price. Everybody has a price. Yeah. But I'm really proud of you for speaking up. Well, I I appreciate you. Well, you're welcome. God get my nephews out of the penitentiary. I mean, my nephew was in his twenties where he, when he went, and he's he's forty one now. My gosh! His daughter There's a is show. Grown. There's a show you might be interested. in. It's called Mary Loves Justice. She has a website called that, and she's got a show mm-hmm. here on Blog Talk Radio. And she deals a lot of with a lot of false imprisonment and success. Um, she's from the Atlanta area or Georgia area, and she had this man her, on. I believe his name is Jimmy. I can't remember his last minute. name. Go ahead. I'm gonna get my tablet so I can write write this sure. down, and I could call her. Well, while you're getting that paper, you know this this guy named Jimmy. This man named Jimmy, he had been in prison since he was 13 years old for a crime he did not commit. And he he got out, I believe it was about two years ago, and she interviews and talks to him. And they actually really do stuff. Like I remember the show I called in on, there was a lady that that was released from prison. And she didn't have any, she didn't even have shoes, did not even have shoes. And she's telling people her size. You know, get in contact with me. Let's help this woman. It's more than just talking to get attention. She actually does things, and that's what okay. I like. A group okay. that do things. Our name is Mary. What? Mary loves justice. Let me go to her page. I'm a Facebook friend, and she's a really neat lady. Let me get Mary Neal. And Mary um, Neal. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to her Facebook page and make sure I got the the web page correct. I'm I'm pretty certain I have. She's just a wonderful person and very How proactive. In as in Nancy E A L. Okay, you said this is what Neil. That her name is Neil. Mm-hmm. Mary loves justice is her website. Let me go on to the about. Excuse me. Yeah, she studies journalism and is it N E A L? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Mary Neal is her name. Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, and it is Mary Loves Justice. Mm Mm-hmm. Her email. Her email, which is public, is Mary Loves Justice at Gmail dot com. Okay. And her website is um it's at blogspot B L O G S P O T and again it's Mary Loves Justice. I can't tell you how wonderful she is. All righty. Like, here's her last one. She says, listen to my new episode, Mary Diaz, Human Conflicts Organization. Uh, It's a Florida DOC-assigned Heather Chapman weekly visits with her son, Nico Albanese, who is a mentally ill inmate in solitary confinement. Nico was literally starving himself to death before his mom visit started. His nearly six-foot frame had reduced to a mere 120 pounds. Heather's visit saved her son's life. 
but they are expensive, and she's asking to raise money for that mother so that she can do her weekly visits to save her son. Now you would think okay. that the the justice system would would get that young that man some help. Is he black? I would assume so from what I, I read there. The Nico, you know, it doesn't say what the the um, just that he's mentally ill. Um, but she does stuff like that all the time, helping people. How about he's in the period prison if he's mentally ill? Because it's Florida. Oh. Florida's pretty bad on, on stuff like that. Some states are worse than others. Yeah. But I have, with autism, I've worked a lot with autism. The stories I've heard about Florida and perhaps someone that has autism being imprisoned and not understanding the charges and they signed the paper and, you know, things like that. I I, I do know for certain that, that Florida is pretty bad on, on mental illness and not that autism is a mental illness, but there's um, – they're incapacitated. Some of them I just – you know what I'm trying to say. I'm stumbling over my yeah. words. And I'm looking down at just neat person. See, here's assistance yeah. to the incarcerated mentally ill, AIMI. She was talking about this. She interviews a lot of good people. Okay, and this is this so her, just, okay. I like her interview. Justice is on Facebook. Right. Mary Loves Justice, blogs and radio shows. She's on BTR, and it will be under Mary Loves Justice if you do the search. Mm-hmm. I better check my studio. Yeah, okay. I, I, okay, my people are supposed to call in, but they may be doing okay. their their songs and their the chanting. Right is right, wrong is wrong. Glenn's got to go, you know that that type of thing. And I mean, and there's mm-hmm. all different faiths also to give you more hope. You know the the Nation of Islam, the a lot of inner interfaith beliefs. They're all coming together, and it's a beautiful thing. It is so beautiful. If you go on YouTube and um, maybe even put We the People of Oklahoma, it'll show some of the speeches. And uh, For example, one protest that I was at, the do you know the Jeremy Lake case? Mm, no, no, I don't. He was a young man that was shot down by a police officer, and the wife tried to cover it up. She was also a police officer. He was murdered by, by this man because he was shaking hands with his daughter. And um, that one was hard. This woman walked by and asked what we were doing. We were in front of the courthouse. Happened to be Jeremy Lake's stepsister. stepsister. And she just started mm-hmm. crying, you know, because uh, we were speaking up for Eric Harris and the others that had been brutalized and murdered by the sheriff's department slash police department. And, um, you know, things are just coming together the way they're supposed to. So she's now a part of that, the whole family. So the more we have united, the more we're heard. And if we speak in a peaceful manner, you know, and speak the truth, you know, the news has given us good coverage. They're there right now. And probably some of the people that we're going to call in or are being interviewed, I, I didn't even think of that. Six, two, eight are there, and yeah, you know, they're giving us decent coverage, and they're not ignoring us. So that's a good thing. Yeah. You know, a lot of the news coverages in other cities, they just try to find the troublemakers, but there are no troublemakers. Yeah. So I'm just so pleased about that. The only thing I've heard about the Klan, at least, a young woman had her car vandalized. Uh, they had spray painted it. And, She's with the anarchy group, so I don't know too much more about that. But we've had pretty low resistance from the hate groups, at least, other than being mm-hmm. some of them being called uh, some unsightly names. Yeah. yeah. You know, but I, I'm really pleased with the turnout. And now I'm hoping if so people about, from Tulsa are is listening, it, is and it if not you are registered. People? Oh, there, there's quite a few there, but I'm trying to speak to the people of Tulsa right now. If they are listening to this podcast, an archive of this podcast, we have, I believe it's 
30 more days to get 5,000 signatures. It may be 35 more days. But um, we need your signatures if you're a registered voter within Tulsa. You have to use the same address that's on your voter ID card that where you registered for. And if you are not a registered voter, I believe most of our petition sites, like at 41st and Garnett's one, um, if I do a show tomorrow, I'll, I'll give you a listing of all the sites. We'll have our double-decker bus driving around for 8 to 10 hours on Saturday getting signatures. We need your signature to get a grand jury investigation of Sheriff Glantz. This is not a, a hate group. This is we're just trying to expose what needs to be exposed and fix what needs to be fixed. And we're going through the court system to do this. This is the right way to do it. This is effective way. This is a way that most cities do not want you to know about. If you're calling or listening from another city, your city doesn't want you to know that you can um, go before the court to file a petition. In our city, it costs $137. And then the judge says, yes, you can do this petition to get a grand jury, and then you have to get your signatures. You know, you just have to organize, get things together, find the department that is during a petition to get a grand jury trial. That's all, all you have to do. It is that simple. That is what the cities, like in Baltimore, do not want you to know. You know, They would rather have you riot in all this stuff because nothing will change. The only way to affect change, at least as I see it, is through this grand jury in the city of Tulsa. So, And the more we expose the darkness to the light, the more people are going to know about it. And they can make better informed choices when it comes to elections for sheriffs. So um, I'm going to take a break and try to get some of my people to call in. Uh, have you heard of the the artist known, known as Killer Mike? No. He's performed at Ferguson. He's been interviewed by CNN. He's the son of a police officer, and he has a lot to say about the society that we live in today. He's... He kind of reminds me of when Tupac would do songs about, you know, the way things are and the way they should be. You know, he's our, our generation, this generation's Tupac, in my opinion, and he's pretty cool. I'm going to put you on hold, if that's all right, and play this song and call my people, <laughs> try to get them to call in. You can learn more. Go ahead. Well, I, I, I'm, I got to go. Oh, okay, well, you know, I, I, I'm I honored that you call in, and I'm going to hopefully be able to do another show tomorrow. If not, I'll definitely be doing one Saturday, probably after All right. the bus drive. Thank you so much. I, I, Is it okay if I keep your phone number, if I find out any information that might help? Yes. Yes. And yes. your first name is? Linda. Linda. Okay, Linda, thank you so much for calling in. It's been my honor and privilege to have you on and, and for giving us the knowledge you did. We appreciate it. Oh, oh. Thank you. Okay. God bless you. Bless you, too. Okay, that was Linda. She was very informative, and I, I'm honored to hear the information that she had. I'm going to play a piece by Killer Mike called Reagan. Uh, he's a wonderful artist. Please get to know him. His name is Killer Mike. You can buy his CDs on online, and this is one of his most popular. It's called Reagan. Or anything else for hostages. 
my role. The bullet of the bullet. Some freedom of some bullshit. Will we ever do it bigger? Just keep settling for look.